As a rule of thumb, all quad topology is desirable in most of the modeling situations, uh, but not all of them. So let's talk about the peculiar situations where having the all quad topology is something rather undesirable. For example, in the case like this, where the perfectly quad topology caused some problems further down the line after applying some Boolean operations and beveling the result. So here is a perfectly reasonable quad grid, uh, but after we play with the Boolean ops and throw in some beveling, uh, we run into a problem. And that's because we have a pretty wide bevel that conflicts with the topology flow. And actually this conflict was unavoidable. It was foretold since we added the subdivision surface modifier which sliced our geometry into a set of very nice and pretty dense quads. And don't get me wrong, this configuration of polygons looks great by default, but now we need to reconfigure it since we added the bevel. So what can we do to remove the very unnecessary polygons which prevent the bevel from functioning properly? There is one very cool modifier called decimate, and it has a few options like collapse, which just takes away the polygons based on the threshold and surprisingly it works to some extent even though it's not optimal. Let's say it helps to solve one problem but introduces some other problems. So we need something a little bit different, something that won't mangle our topology. Okay, we have a few more options within the decimate modifier. On subdivide we'll try to revert the effect of subdivision surface modifier to some extent, but it will alter the geometry along the way. What we need is the third one called planar. Basically it will make surfaces flat based on an angle, and by flat I also mean angon. So it will dissolve the faces below the certain threshold to create angons. It kind of works out of the box and takes away or rather merges the polys below the angle limit which is 5 degrees in our case, and we can also delimit it by normal material, etc. And if we set the angle limit to high, it will turn flat. So probably 5 degrees is about right for this model. Now I will just enable all the modifiers back. And after decimation it looks almost right. We just have to adjust the position of the boolean object a little bit. So it worked and we have generated just enough space for the bevel effect to operate. And that's what we wanted to do after all. And while I see a few problems related to triangulation, the, those angons probably, uh, all in all I think that the result speaks for itself. It's much better than the broken bevel we had before that. And the alternative for merging the faces via modifier is uh, to use the dissolve faces command within the edit mode or just press F while having a few faces selected and those faces will be turned into one. That's the limited dissolve operation. That's what the decimate modifier does under the hood. And again, even though quadrilateral topology is considered to be the gold standard in 3D modeling, sometimes it can push you into a corner and then you decimate it.